What certification should I get to land a job in cybersecurity? I get asked this all the time during my live streams and comment sections of various platforms, and it's a valid question. But if you think certs alone are your golden ticket, you are missing the big picture, because here's the truth. Certs help, but they aren't everything. And sometimes a wall of certs with no experience can actually hurt you. If you're into no BS cybersecurity and tech advice, follow me on all my socials and definitely come hang out in our Discord and Matrix communities. We've got folks at every level for beginners just getting started to seasoned cybersecurity and IT professionals of all varieties, sharing knowledge and helping each other level up. And hey, I stream often, so if you've got questions, come ask live, even if we're gaming on Linux. Check out all my links in the description below. What was my path? I actually shared my full story in another video, card up here if you want to check that out. But here's the quick version. Yes, I started tinkering with tech and Linux as a kid, but I actually went to school to be an electrician. No four-year degree, no cybersecurity degree, just hands-on, real-world work. And honestly, a lot of those electrician skills translated straight into IT. Low-voltage wiring, structured cabling, troubleshooting under pressure, and reading diagrams, schematics, and blueprints. Eventually, I realized I didn't want to be an electrician forever, so I pivoted. I got my first proper start in a managed service provider, MSP, and I did everything. Desktop support, servers, networking, firewall, scripting, you name it. And it was through networking and firewalls, especially my home lab I built, that I found my way into cybersecurity. Fast forward to today. I work as a cybersecurity engineer, and everything I've learned along the way has helped me build the skills that job demands. Let's discuss the hard truth about entry level. Here's a hard truth that boot camps and schools rarely tell you. Most entry-level cybersecurity jobs expect at least a year or two of IT experience. Cybersecurity is a specialization of IT, more or less. You can't secure what you don't understand. If you've never configured a switch, supported users, deployed a server, or dealt with networking, you're not ready to defend it yet in most cases. And I see it way too often. Someone finishes school, gets a piece of paper, and thinks they're ready for a cybersecurity role. Ah! But there's no internship, no tech job, no home lab, no GitHub, just more paper. Show me something. A GitHub repo, a blog, a video where you walk through a project, even just a TikTok where you break down a lab or set up how DNS works. Just something that shows you're actually building. My first cert, CISSP, Certified Information Systems Security Professional. I got it last year after nearly 10 years in the field. Now, here's what most people don't realize. CISSP and CCSP aren't certs you just grab early in your career. They both require at least five years of paid real-world experience in IT or uh, security. If you've got a four-year degree, it drops to four years of experience. But without it, you need the full five. They're both from ISC2, also known as ISC Squared, the same organization that also created the Certified in Cybersecurity CC Cert, which is their beginner-level cert. You're brand new and want to prove you're serious without years of experience, the CC can be a great place to start. Now, people sometimes call CISSP a management cert, but that's not totally accurate. If you want a true management focused certification, that's the CISM, Certified Information Security Manager from ISACA. CISSP and CCSP are senior level technical certs. Maybe not as technical as a vendor cert, but they are rather technical. Plenty of security engineers, architects, and analysts are expected to have them, especially at the senior level. I'm currently working on CCSP, Certified Cloud Security Professional, which focuses on securing cloud platforms like Amazon Web Services, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform, GCP. These certs are earned, not bought, and they're a signal that you understand both the tools and the bigger picture. Before we talk about some of the certs out there, that are actually worthwhile as you rack up experience, let's talk about today's sponsor. Proton builds Proton Mail, Proton VPN, Proton Drive, and now Proton Pass. They're fully encrypted password manager. What really sets Proton Pass apart is simple login integration. You can create unique email aliases for every site you use. That means less spam, better privacy, and way more control over your identity online. I use Proton daily for my credentials, secure email, private cloud, and secure browsing when outside my firewalled home network. Everything's open source, audited, and based in Switzerland under strong privacy laws. Use my referral link below to get started and support the channel. Big thanks to Proton for sponsoring this video and supporting the InfoSec community. Let's discuss how too many certs do not equal skills. I've helped with hiring. I've seen the resumes. Some people come in with Security Plus, Linux Plus, Network Plus, CEH, CISA Plus, a whole alphabet suit. But when we start talking about real world scenarios, they freeze. They can't explain what happens when a phishing link gets clicked. They can't break down a VPN handshake. Certs can't replace experience. 
And if all you've done is memorize multiple choice questions, it shows. So what actually gets you hired? Home lab, build something, break it, fix it, share your work, GitHub, blog posts, YouTube, TikTok, just show you're doing the work. Connect with the community. And no, I don't mean TCP IP networking. I mean real world human networking. Get involved with the community. Go to local meetups, cons, and security talks. Check out sites like infosecmap.com for security conferences and events around the world. Eventbrite and Meetup. Just search for cybersecurity and tech or coding events near you. Even a local DEF CON group and OWASP chapters. Show up, ask questions, shake hands. Those connections will open doors that search probably never could. And here's a tip. A huge part of the infosec world has moved to Blue Sky and Mastodon. After Elon bought Twitter and wrecked infosec Twitter, a lot of us migrated over. Now those communities are thriving. Less spam, more signal, and way more supportive of people trying to break in or grow in the field. There's also this common misconception, especially in IT and cybersecurity, that you can just be an introvert, sit in a corner, and not talk to anyone. That's not how this works. Not only will you need to network to land your job, but once you're in, your success will often depend on soft skills, communicating clearly, building relationships, and collaborating across departments. You don't just need to know how to secure the network. You need to know the people too. It's not just what you know, it's who you know and how well you can work with them. Here's some certs that do make sense as you progress in your career, and I'll include who offers each one. CC, certified in cybersecurity from ISC Squared. Great entry-level cert for beginners. Network Plus, CompTIA. Learn how networking really works. Linux Plus from CompTIA as well. Linux is everywhere in cybersecurity. Security Plus from CompTIA, a strong foundational cert. Pentest Plus from CompTIA as well. Mid-level red team cert focused on ethical hacking and vulnerability management. PNPT, Practical Network Penetration Tester, TCM Security provides this one. Real world pen testing with reporting. CISSP, Certified Information System Security Professional. ISC Squared, Senior Level Enterprise Security governments, Governance and Architecture. CCSP, Certified Cloud Security Professional, ISC Squared. Focused on securing cloud infrastructure. GSEC, JIAC, Security Essentials from SANS slash JIAC. Vendor Neutral, Respected by Hiring Managers. OSCP, The Offensive Security Certified Professional. Offensive Security provides this one. Hands-on Red Team Cert with Real World Challenges. And remember, there are far more jobs in the blue team than red team. SOC analyst, detection engineering, compliance, these are roles are out there and highly in demand. Eventually you can go purple, like I'm trying to do, because cybersecurity isn't just about red versus blue. It's about balance. You have to think of it like a yin and yang. There's a little good and evil and a little evil and good. A great red teamer understands defense. A strong blue teamer understands offense. Too often, I see hotshot pen testers who know tools, but not how enterprise security really works. They don't realize how quickly they're stopped by segmentation, EDRs, alerting pipelines, because those defenses aren't in their home labs. Purple teaming is where both sides grow. That's how you build real world defense, not just flashy exploits. So here should be the takeaway for you. Certs are helpful, but they're not your foundation, nor they should ever be. Real growth comes from building, breaking, fixing, sharing, and staying curious. I generally recommend about 10 to 20 hours per week of your own personal time devoted to your craft, even once you land your job. That means looking up the news, networking with different people, whether it be online and especially in person, as well as home labbing and tinkering with all sorts of new technology. Every few years, Revelations come out that make you have to unlearn what you have learned. Yes, I know I sound like Yoda there. I didn't have a degree. I didn't have a wall of certs. I had home labs, firewalls, real world IT work, and a whole lot of persistence. If this helped, smash that like button and drop your GitHub blog or home lab setup in the comments or in the Discord. I want to see what you're working on. Follow me on the socials. Join our amazing Discord and Matrix communities, and if you want, even catch me live. We talk about this stuff all the time and even do some gaming on Linux. So, until next time, stay safe out there, stay curious, happy hacking, and I'll see you later.